I have to walk on Okay, are okay, we ready? We're ready. You're welcome. The book ready? Okay, so let's let's review from yesterday. Nobody reminded me that I didn't send it out. It's a pretty a pretty, pretty review. quick review from yesterday. Dr. Zion is a continuation of different of different tefillas. Right? Then we had different sayings of Amirayim. I know a mimer where women are have a hatacha that they're going to have more alam haba or easier alam haba than men. Then different wishes Amirayim wished each other after leaving each other. That was Amral. When Bezos had to understand the words of Pasuk of Abirei Leiv, where the Abirei Leiv, like strong hearted, is referring to um, good people or bad people. And then the Machlaik is Hashem and Gamli on the Chachamim, whether we're concerned for Gaiva or not. Right? Meaning, can a Chasen not read Krishma even? Can a chazan read Krishna even if he, even because he says that he could concentrate, if that's a problem or not? And the same thing with not doing malacha on uh, on Tisha B'av. Then we start with the new parak, um, which is when burying the dead. Which mis- which mitzvahs do you do? And now we have well, now we continue with that with that gemara. Yeah. Okay. So now the Mishnah, the new Mishnah on Yudzayim Abayz, just to make sure we have it straight. Is it seems to be saying Misha Mesa Mutal Lafanov. That's the first words in the Mishnah. It's it's if your mace is in front of you. So the Gemara is going to ask, it's Mashma that the only reason why you would not be required to say Kriyashima and Dab and all that is because the the mace is in front of you, which is which is Mashma that if the mace is not in front of you, then it's not a, a not a, a not a problem. The Gemara is going to ask on that. So exactly what yeah, ready? Mutal Lafanov, three four lines up in the back. Mutalafanov in Bishana Mutalfan of Law. It sounds like from the Gemara, from the Mishnah, that only if the mace is laying right there, meaning if you're in the room with the mace, then uh, then you have an issue. But if not, if you're not in the room with the mace, then you have to do all the mitzvahs. So Ramino, when I ask you Stiro, Misha Mesa Mutalafano, if somebody has a mace in front of him, then he should eat in a different house, which is by the way, the way we pass, and one should not be eating when he's with a mace. The main like bias acher. If he doesn't have another house, then he should at least go to his friend's house. If he doesn't have a friend's house, he should put up a uh, boundary, and he should eat. If he, if he doesn't have anything to make a, a, uh, a separation, then he turns away his face, and he eats, but you shouldn't lean, meaning sit up straight and eat. And then, um, don't lean and eat, just sit up straight. You can't eat meat, you can't drink wine, and you don't make any brachas, and you don't make a mazum, and nobody should make a bracha for you. Meaning, you're, you're from a guy, so you're thinking, okay, so I'm not going to make a bracha, so at least let somebody make the bracha on my behalf. You don't do that either. And you don't make a mazum either. You part from everything, you're not required to do anything. Over Shabbos, Mesav, Eichel, but if it's over Shabbos, meaning from when the person dies till there's the burial, then Mesav, Eichel, Basar, and you're allowed to lean and eat meat, Vishayzayin, and drink wine, and Bavarich, and you can make brachas, Umazamin, and you make a Mazumin, Umazamin, Umazamin, and you could have somebody make brachas on your behalf and make a Mazumin on your behalf. And you're required to do all the mitzvahs. Meaning, so basically, over Shabbos, you are required to do all mitzvahs. What, what are the options that they don't seem to say is uh, is eating outside? You have to be in a bias? You have to be in a house? I mean, eating on the street? In your backyard, have a picnic. It seems like the options here, there doesn't seem to be an option to like, it, it seems like you have to be under a roof, feet. Of course, oh, Shabbos. I'm not talking about Shabbos. Because it doesn't discuss, it doesn't discuss that you have to be under, well, the, you mean it doesn't? It doesn't say whether you're allowed to eat in the in the room with the mace on Shabbos. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying before we got to the Shabbos, you're all trading the Shabbos. Don't interrupt you. But it's saying all these different options: don't eat in the same room, put up a mechitza, go to your friend's house, go to your other house, chulu b'chulu. But in the end of the day, you have to, you're going to eat in front of the mace, right? Is the option right. you take opposed to saying go eat go eat outside under the tree? Oh, I hear. No, I think I understood it that you better to go eat in somebody else's house than eat in front of the mace. That's why I understood it, but I don't I don't have a proof either way. I don't know. I hear it's a yeah, it's a good R. I'm not sure. Yeah, anybody have any opinions on that? All silence. All right. Fine. 
Okay. Anyway, so that's what the Brisa says. And then, um, so you have to do everything over Shabbos. Meaning, and the reason for that is very simply that according to this, okay, oh, you know, let's wait. We'll wait to the answer and then we'll get to it. Since you're required to do these things, then you're required to do everything. Now, what does that mean exactly? What's the difference between Rav Shimon and Tanakam? Right, relations, having relations. So Rav Shimon Gamliel would say that you have to, right, um, on Shabbos, or you have to, or you can. And the Tanakam would say that you can't. And the reason being that you can't is because that's not something that's something that's hidden. So that's not showing up. The reason why Shabbos you you can do mitzvahs is because for two things. One is you can't take care of the burial on Shabbos. And two, it would be showing mourning in public, which we don't do on Shabbos. But Tasha Shamita wouldn't be. So that, that's the disagreement. Right, okay, whatever it is, Katani Mias, now we get to the question. Katani Mias, we learn, however, Potter Mikriya Shema, Uminat Fila, Uminat Fila, Umikom Mitzvah, Muras Matara. You don't do Shema, don't Davin, no, nothing. Right? So, and that's talking about if even it doesn't say anything about you being in front of the dead person. Right? So, what is the, so it's a stira, right? It's, um, uh, yeah. Um, no question. Hold on, sir. Uh, yeah. So right. So that's what it is. So the, here we're clearly saying that you put it regardless. So the Gemara is going to seemingly say a a well. The first tarot is not as simple. The second tarot is simple. Amar Papa Tirgama. We explain this as a machzipon of aichel. We're talking about where he turned away his face and then he's going to eat. So that part, that part is not a problem. Basically, what it means is mutal alav lekoyres. When it says mutal lefanov, doesn't mean that the mace is actually in front of you. It means that it's placed on you to bury. It says Avram got up from his mace, and then he says ve'ekra mace milafonav. It calls man shemutal alav lekoyres. As long as it's on him to bury the dead, kimutul the fun of dami. It's as if it's in front of him, right? So that's that's what we're saying. Mutul the fun of doesn't is not to be taken literally that the mace is in front of you, right? Yeah. Um, you know what? I think now nah, I explained that wrong. The real stira between the two. I'm sorry. The, the stira between the brisa and the mishnah is whether you're allowed to eat in the house with the mace. That's the stira. So here's what we're saying. One is talking about where you turn the face away. That's one answer. And the second answer is that mutal just means that you're required to, to bury the dead. Fine. Now they're going to ask the cast that I just said. Um, um, yeah, mace in Abu Masham Are you saying that only if it's your mace, but if you're a shimer, it's not? Meaning, let's say you're a shimer or mace and you're not the one that's in Avelis. You're just being a shaman. So you don't have to do, you don't, you, you don't have an issue, but if you're watching the mace, right? Which it sounds like Mashamrai, Alpha P. Yeah, so that's the Kasha. I'm sorry, that's the Kasha, right? So you see that even if you're just a shaman, Mashamrai, Alpha P. Shane, and Mesa, Mesa, Alpha P. Shane, and Mashamrai, right? So it's, it's saying it's, you have either one. If you're the shimer, even if it's not your mace, you're potter. And if it's your mace, even if you're not the shimer, you're also potter. Meaning you have a, if, you're, if, if you're a close relative, one of the seven relatives of the person who died, then you're potter regardless of whether you're participating in the shmira. But if you're the shimer, you're potter even if you are not related. Yes? Um, so now the Gemara says, mace and shamri in, so... Those that, if it's their own dead, and the ones that are watching, they are in, meaning, yes, they are exempt from doing any mitzvahs. But somebody who's walking through a cemetery is not exempt. A person is not allowed to walk through a cemetery with tefillin on, or holding the Sefer Torah, and read it. If you, you're either, and everybody knows these words, loyal rush, that it's you are laughing at the poor person and you're making it into an embarrassment, right? So, therefore, there's other people besides for the shimer and besides for the relative 
that don't have to do mitzvahs. So we say, Hasam toich arba amas, who the asur, chutz labar amas chayiv. In the cemetery, it's only when you're within four amas of the graves are you not allowed to um, read the Torah and have tefillin on. But more than four amas away, you're allowed to. The armamar, meis toich is dalad amas, the kriya shema. A meis holds on to four amas of kriya shema, and hacha chutz adal amas nami potter. And here we're saying, even if you're further than four amas away, you're still potter. Whether you're watching the mace more than four amas away, or if you're a relative more than four amas away, you are potter, right? So basically, we have three levels. We have somebody walking through a cemetery, not allowed to do any mitzvahs, but that's only when he's within four amas. You have somebody who has a close relative who died, he's potter from all mitzvahs, regardless of where he is. And then you have somebody who's being a shimer, only while he's actually being shimer the mace is he potter, but otherwise he's not, right? That's the three levels. Um, it's interesting because why don't why then why do we make a minion and say Kaddish within four amas of a grave or say Tehillim mm-hmm. isn't that like Larush? Yeah. That's what you make a minion for. What? No, you make a minion. Say Kaddish. Okay. Right. So why do we do that? Say so the the really, it's for the May. So then it's okay. Although I once saw that the Stipler did not say Tehillim within four amas of any graves. I personally have my own sock whether. Whether it's, I'm correct or not, I don't know. But when pregnant women ask whether they can go to a cemetery, go to a levi of a close relative, so there's no halacha about that. So I tell them, go, but stay more than four hours away. But I totally made that up, I think. So I have no idea if I'm right or not. Yeah, either way, it makes them feel better about it. So that, that works. Okay. That I, see them. I see them are very into it. See, the one that led ladies bechlal into cemeteries, even non-pregnant. Right. Like, because, they might be pregnant. Yeah. because they might what? be pregnant. Is that okay. a weird sock? Hello, like Asia's Kahanim, no? Well, Asia's Kahanim really could go into into a grave. The Shach says a, a, a Kayim, a, an Asia's Kahanim could Not go into pregnant. it. Yeah, even when they're pregnant, the Shach says it's okay because it's Svek Sveka. Oh, whether yeah. it's a problem or not. But, Is that okay, a new sock? What? Is that a new sock? It's not a noop sock. It's not a noop sock. Five years ago, you didn't It's have one of the socks he, he pulls out. Maybe he's new. Five years. You tell me I didn't use my brain in five years. I would hope that I used it as something a little bit in the last five years. No? I no okay. <laughs> Silence. Okay. All right. I'm not offended. Okay. Back to Gufa. Hamashamar is Hames. Right, somebody who's watching the dead, the dead. Ava Pishain and Mesa, even though it's not his own Mesa, Potomir Krishma and Minatfila, Minatfila and Nicole Mitzvah and Murus Batar. Hayushnaim, Zem Mishma Vizekar, Zem Mishma Vizekar. Let's say you have two people watching the Mesa, so they, they alternate. One watches and one davens, and then they, and then they switch. Benazay, I mean, how you buy in Besvina, Menich Bezavi Zuma, Spalin Shnaim Bezavi Zacharis. If they're traveling with the Mesa on a boat, so then they could leave the mace in one corner and then they can both get up and daven. My benayu, what's the difference between these opinions? Whether we're chashish for mice. The one, the mandomer that says that both of them could walk away, that's because that he's not chashish for, for mice, right? Um, the, stack, the first mandomer that says that you have to alternate and he is chashish for mice, which is one of the reasons why this shmirah, everybody thinks shmirah is because of like, EBGB and stuff like that. Uh, there, this this opinion is very clear that it's because you just don't want mice to attack the mace. Fine. Anybody who doesn't like all this death stuff should really book out now because <laughs> that's what this whole uh, this whole daf is about. Let's say you're carrying bones from one place to another. Don't put it into a sack. Put it on top of the donkey. And then ride on top of them. Because that is obviously a big bazaar to put them in a sack and then sit on top of them on a on a donkey. And if you're afraid because of Goyim or because of armed robbers, mutter, then it is mutter. The same din by Sefer Torah. So what's that going on? Meaning, is that going on the ratio that you shouldn't put the Sefer Torah under you and sit on it? Or is it going on the Sefer that you're allowed to if you're scared? Ilim Aresha Pshita, he got a Sefer Torah at Samas. If it's going on the ratio, it's simple. Is a Sefer Torah any less um, less chashuv than a Tzamas? Clearly, if, uh, if you're not going to do it with Tzamas, you're not going to do it with Sefer Torah. Ella, I say if it's going on the Sefer, meaning if you're scared from robbers, then you would be allowed to sit on the Sefer Torah. This is an important halacha. Anybody who sees a mace and doesn't um, accompany it, Ivan Meshum, Laig, Laroshcher, Vaseo. 
you're 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 being over on loyal Rosh. If you do, if you do go to the Levaya, what's the schar? Okay, so that means Hashem is. That means you're almost like lending to Hashem. You're doing chesed for somebody that you're not going to see any chesed back from. So it's as if you're mamish being far, like Hashem. Um, this is Allah psuka. So if you're driving and you see a funeral, a Jewish funeral, then you have to stop. And you have to accompany. So whenever there's a funeral in Shayashu, there's always an issue because guys are learning the Bismedish. When do they go out? Because you don't have to go. It doesn't say you have to go here as Baden. It's just that you have to go um, be part of the Leviah. Right? So you just stay around until you see. But I don't think you're to to, uh, to wait around to, to go to, the, to, for, to wait for the actual procession. Um, same thing with a wedding. It's a big shot because a wedding, if you see a wedding, you have to stop for that too. So that means if you know about a wedding and you have to go to a wedding every, uh, we'll try and get a little bit of happiness into that uh, blah, right? So you go to a wedding, maybe we know there's a wedding every night at Wings, but maybe we have to go, right? So it's not really clear in the place can why you're not you have to go. But one thing is for sure, if you're driving by a wedding, let's say you're driving in Brooklyn, you see one of those Hasidish weddings on the sidewalk, then you got to stop and participate. That's without a doubt. Same thing with the Levite. Okay. Why are you assuming weddings are a happy thing? Ah, that's already, yeah, 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 all right. I, you I, say Isha Ra was yesterday's block. Isha Ra was yesterday's. Yeah, but we got an Isha Ra today too, parrots. Don't worry. We'll wait till on the base. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Rabbi Chia and Rabbi Yonison have a shakli va'azav v'esakvaris. Rabbi Chia and Rabbi Yonison were walking through a v'esakvaris, have a kashadi t'chelta, and he threw away his t'chelas, meaning his tzitzis. Uh, I'm sorry, have a sorry, no, no, no. Have a kashadi tchel Rav Yonison. Um, it was dragging on the kvarim. His titsis, he had like the flip out titsis, you know, that were way down to his to his ankles. So they were dragging on the graves, right? So Lift up your titsis so that tomorrow, so that the mason don't say to each other, tomorrow um, he's going to be with us and now he's making fun of us, meaning the guy thinks he's not going to die himself. Why is he teasing us? That he's doing mitzvahs. Amr lay umi yadikulei. Now this starts. This question starts a whole lot of Gemara about whether dead people know what's going on in this world. Amr lay umi yadikulei. Do they know so much? Vaksiv, va mesem enim yoyde meuma. Mesem don't know anything. Pasuk negelis. Amr lay im karisa la shanisa. If you learned it once, you didn't learn it twice. Im shanisa la shilash. If you learned it twice, you didn't learn it three times. Im shilash la pirshulach. What that pasuk is saying? Yeah, you say you don't understand pshat. That's what he's telling you. You don't understand pshat. Ki hachaim yoidim sheyamusu. When it says in the pasuk, the live people know that they're going to die. Elu tzadikim. These are referring to tzadikim shemimisas and nikru chaim. That when they die, they're called alive. Shenemar. And there's a long pasuk here. Uben ayo ben yoyade ben ishchai raf ba'alim mikabzel who hika shnei ariel ariel mayav. He smote the two. Um, Generals and Mayav, who Yara Vikas Ari, the Sai Khabar, and he went and he and he hit the lion or in the bar, the Yama Shelag on a day of snow. Ben Ishchai. He is a Ben Ishchai. Right? Okay, he's the son of a man that's living. Also, Kuliyama Bene Mason in it was the whole world, the sons of dead people. El Ben Ishchai, Shafil bin Sasakarikai. What he's called Ben Ishchai, that he's a person that's living, that even when he's dead, he's going to be called alive. Rav Pa'alam Kabzel. What does it mean that he was a Rav Pa'alam? He did many things from Kabzel. Shariba V'Kavatz Pa'alam L'Tayra. And because he would gather people, he did Kiruv. He would gather isn't, people to come learn Torah. Isn't, isn't the Makar for Lobavich, Meshichas? Why Meshichas? Oh, because they're called alive. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. For who Hika Shnei Ariyam Mayav, he hit, smote, whatever. I think that's where they always translate Hikas. Right, the Shnei Ariya Mayav Shalai Hiniach Kamaisa Levi Mikdash Rishon Levi Mikdash Sheni. There was nobody slew, slew. Okay, slew. Yeah, um, there was nothing like him. Not in the first base of Mikdash, not in the second base of Mikdash. Who Yarad Vehika Sari, and he went and he hit the Ari Basay Chabar in the bar. But Yer Mashelag on the day of snow. Ikud Amri. Some say that what does that mean? The Tavar Gzizi the Barda Benachas the Tavel. He broke the ice in the lake. And he went down and he toiled. So that's what it means in the shelling. In the winter, he broke the, and the Ari means ice, and he broke the ice and he was toiled. In the winter nights, he was able to finish the entire Sifra 
which is the Pirush on, of Halacha on Vayikra, which is not easy. Okay? Fine. So now, so that was the story. And when it says Mesim, don't know anything, this is a continuation of how he's saying, yeah. meaning again, again, what? He, he, he learned it, he learned it, who was it? Um, it was Reb Chia. Sorry, Reb Yainasen, Reb Yainasen learned that Pasuk to say that the dead don't know what's going on. This is Reb Chia's, this is all part of Reb Chia's answer to what, that HaMesim Enim Yoydim Uma does not mean that Mesim don't know anything. Right? This right. is just a continuation. If HaMesim Enim Yoydim Uma, the Mesim, the dead people don't know anything, Eilu Rishayim, this is referring to Rishayim Shebechayeyen, Kruyim Mesim, that even when they're alive, they're called their dead. Shanem Ravata Chal Rasha Nasi Yisrael. Yeah, you're a Chal, you're there's a Rasha, Nasi Yisrael. Right, Viva Echol is referring is is another way of saying um, a, a chol is like a dead person. Viva is same and mehoch al pishnayim edim, al shloish edim yumas hames. Yeah, parents from Marcus with two edim or three edim yumas hames. Right, the dead one will die. Right, chayhu. So it means he's really alive. Ela hames meikara. But since he's a he's a he's somebody that does averus, so he's a rasha. So he's really a he's really dead. So that's how you know that somebody can be alive but really dead if he's a Russian. Fine. So that's how we see that that, that Pusik is not referring to dead people not knowing what's going on. So the Bene Rabhiya Nafikl Kriyasa. The sons of Rabhiya went out to to the city. A Yakulu told me and then they forgot their learning. Have a Kamatsaru Latkuri and they were painting themselves. Latkuri means to remember. Dalit in, in Aramaic is replaceable with Zayin. So Latkuri means Lizko, to remember. Amr Lech Chad Lechavri once said to his friend, Yodavun Bahait Sara, does, does your father know, or does our father know about um, our pain? Amr Lech Idach, when Yodah, how should he know? Baksiv Yichbidu Vano, Velo Yeda. The sons will have covered and the father won't know about it. Amr Lech Idach, Velo Yeda, he's not going to know. Baksiv Ach, sorry, I love Yichav, Benashe, I love Tevel. His flesh will cause him pain, and his nefesh will be also in pain. Worms that go in a dead person is no different than a needle that goes into your skin, which is painful. So you see, so we have here another, another, another more conflicting opinions whether Mason have any idea what's going on. So Amri, Yadi, So what they said is maybe what it means is that he knows his own pain, a mace could feel his own pain, but he may not know somebody else's pain. Okay? Veloi, Vatanya, now here's another another wild story here. Vatanya, Maisa B'chassid Echad. There was a story with a chassid, Shanasan Dinar La'ani Be'er Rosh Hashanah. He gave money to an Ani on Rosh Hashanah, Veshni B'tzuras, in a year of famine. Ve'kni Tasoi Ishtoi. And his wife was very unhappy. Yeah, parents, I told you, this is the story about another winner of a wife. Yeah? So his wife really went at him. And obviously, she got him so bad. He went to sleep in the Beis HaKvaris. Right? And so on Rosh Hashanah, he's sleeping in the Beis HaKvaris because of his wife. And he heard two spirits. They were talking to each other. One said, he gave tzedakah, right? He gave tzedakah, yeah. Okay. But it was a famine, so he obviously didn't have the money. Amra Khan al Khavata once said to the friend, Khavati, yeah, let's go fly around the world. Let's hear from behind the curtains, meaning what's going on by that's by the Shina. Ma Puranas Bala Ilam, what kind of pain is going to come to the world this year? Amra Allah Khavata, so the the friend said, Any Yukhaila. I'm not able to. I was buried in the thing of reeds and not in the regular, what do you call it? Uh, so therefore I'm not allowed to go. I, or I can't go. Exactly what that means, I'm not, I'm not sure. Ella, I think what it means is that the reason why they bury you in Tachrichim is because they easily decay and then that allows the body to decay fast. And reeds, they couldn't afford Tachrichim, so they did it in reeds, right? Rashi says that part. And they were poor. So therefore, she wasn't um, decomposing yet, so she, therefore she was stuck there. So anyway, so he says, Ela l'chiat, you go and see what's going on in the world. Masha'at shemas, I'm reading, whatever you hear, come back and tell me. Halfahi, so she went. Feshata, and she flew around. Uba, ba'amra la, and she came in. Chavarta, she said, Chavarti, ma'shamat, me'chari apargid. So she flew around, she came back to her friend, she said, what'd you hear? 
behind the scenes. Amrullah Shamati Shikola Zareya Biravia Rishina Barod Malka. So I heard that whoever's going to plant in the first quarter of the year is Barod is going to have uh, yeah. hail. Hail is going to come and destroy the crop. Halahu Bazara Biravia Shniya. So he went and planted in the second quarter. Shalkal Ailam Kule Loka. The whole world got destroyed. Their crops. Shaloi Loi Loka. And his did not. This is the classic insider trading right here. Right? Uh, he, he, he profited on some serious insider trading. No, Jeremy? Yeah. So the Shona Acheres, the next year, he went and he slept in the Beis Akvaris again. He figured he made, he did good money last year, so he can do it again this year. The Shoma Aisen, Shtei Ruchus, and Besapa Zu and Zu, he heard them talking to each other. Amr al-Khad al-Khavada, Bayo v'Nashat Ba'elam v'Nishma Mechore Pargan, my Puran is Ba'elam. Let's go hear what's going on behind the, the uh, Pargan and see what's going on. Um, Ma Puran is Ba'elam, what's going to come into the world? Amr Allah, so she said, Chaverti, Lai Kach, Amarti Lach, didn't I tell you, any Yechayla, Shani Kavurim, and Lachzal Shokanam, I'm in reeds. So basically, she's in jail because she was in these reeds. Ela Lachi, Ad you go. Whatever you hear, come tell me. And her friend said to her, What did you hear from behind the curtain? So whoever is going to plant in the second quarter is going to have she uh, I don't know how you touch she Also, like, uh, it's, it's going to, Rashi says it's a, it's a softness. Um, it's, I don't know, the arts yeah. must have some sort of translation. Um, Anyone who plants in the winter at the time of the second rain will be blasted by a dry wind. Dry wind, Seven. okay, so it's going to dry everything out. Yeah? So he went and he planted in the first quarter. Okay, so he went and he planted in the first quarter. Yeah? Everybody else has got blown away or blasted, whatever that is. And his didn't. And now his, his wife got wind of the situation. How come last year everybody's got destroyed and yours didn't? He told her everything. And then they said, It wasn't so many days. And this lady got into a fight. I guess she didn't only fight with her husband. She also fought with the mother of one of these kids that passed away that were flying around the world, that were giving him his insider information. And she told her, like, go see your daughter who's buried in a thing of reeds, which is obviously not a very good thing. So she went and told the mother that. The next year, he went to sleep in the base of zu. And he heard the Ruchas talking to each other. Let's go fly around and see what's going on. Leave it. Leave it alone because what the words between me and you already were heard by people that are alive. What? Okay, so that's the end of the story. Yeah, so bottom line is Alma, Yodi, Dilma, Yodi. You see that, that that people do know what's going on in the world because obviously these two spirits heard that there was a fight between two humans. So clearly the dead people do know what's going on. So we say, um, Maybe somebody else died who knew about this fight and then that neshama came and discussed it with these, with these neshamas. Right? So it's not necessarily a proof. Somebody came and ratted, them, ratted out the lady. Toshma, so now another proof. The Ziri have a mafkid zuzi gabi oshpazirte. Um Ziri left money by his um hostess, Ad the Asiva Ozil, the Bayrav Shriva. So but before he was able to get to there, to get back, to get back his money, Shriva she died. Ozil Basra, the Khatam the Khatamavas. He went after her to the Khatamavas to the to the yard of death, which is a base of Khwaras. Umrullah, he told her, Zuzi Hecha. Where's the where's my money? Amrulay. So she told him, Zil Shaklinu, Mituse Bitsinura de Dasha Bidduch Plan. Take it from the the there's like a screw in the door and it's hiding over there. Faima, then once you're there, Vaimala Liima, and tell my mother to Shaduli Masrukai Bukupsai the Kuchla, send some of my makeup. Tell my mother to give my makeup Bahadi Planisa the Asilamakha. 
tell my mother to give the makeup and stuff to this certain lady who's going to be coming tomorrow. Obviously, she knew from inside information that this woman is going to be dying. So she asked that he should, Ziri should go, ask the mother for her beauty items and that she should send it. I have no idea what this means. Okay. Alma, Yadi, but whatever the point of is that you see that the dead people do know what's going on. Yeah, Dilma and Abba, this is Nagaya to you, this, this word. Dilma, Duma, Kadama, Machris, Lu. Maybe Duma, that's the restaurant, right? Yeah, I don't know where they got that name. But Duma is, came and told them. Duma is some sort of, uh, some sort of uh, I don't know if it's a Malach. Dilma, Duma, Kadama, Machris, Lu. Maybe Duma came and announced that this lady is, is coming. So that's how they knew, right? It's the Malach. Rashi says Duma is the Malach, Shehud Mamayna al Hamason. Right, it's the it's the Malach that's in charge of all the dead people. Fine. So now we so so far we still don't have a proof because we said maybe <laughs> another Malach did. What? <sighs> okay, so you're getting tired. Yeah, almost done. Tashma, Davud the Shmuel, the father Shmuel have a kamafki mafkidi gabe zuzi diyasmi. The fa- uh, Shmuel's father was holding on to money for his son. He nach nafshi when he died. They have a Shmuel gabe. Shmuel wasn't near him. To know where the money is, and they were saying that um, this guy um, is taking money from Yisaim because nobody knew where the money was. So Shmuel went to find his father in the base of Kvaras. Bina Abba. He came up there and they said, "I need my father." Abba Tuva Ika. There's many Abbas in this uh, place. Abba Tuva Ika. There are many Abbas here. I need Abba Bar Abba. Right? They said, Abba Bar Abba Nami Tuva Ika. There's many Abba Bar Abbas here. Ika Hacha there is here. Abba Bar Abba Avua Deshmuel. I need Abba Bar Abba, the father of Shmuel. Hecha, where is he? Abba Lei, Salak Lemesifta de Rekia. He went up to the, the yeshiva that's in Shemayim. Ad Achi Chazi Lelevi, the Yosef Abra. He saw, he saw Levi. Meanwhile, while he's waiting, he saw Levi sitting outside. Why are you sitting outside of the yeshiva shomel? My time is like How come you haven't gone in? So they told him the Amri Li Kol Ki Hanach Shani the Lai Slik Lim Sifta the Rebbe Efes Bechalishte Ladaite So Leimai Lino Lach. Since I didn't go to Rebbe's yeshiva, so that was offensive. So therefore, because I didn't do that, so they are banning me from going into the Yeshiva Shamal. Right? Yeah, we have a song of the Daf. What? We have a song of the Daf. Why is that? Freed, Freed has a song called Abba. Oh, very good. <laughs> very good. Okay. Even on a Daf with dead people, you still find a song. Look, Paris. There you go. You gotta look, uh, you gotta look for the positive. Adahochi v'ochi osa avua Meanwhile, he saw, then he saw his father came and he was laughing and he was, uh, he was crying and he was laughing. He was crying and laughing. My time of Kabach is why are you crying? Because soon you're coming here. Right? Who's coming? Shmuel. 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 Shmuel's father told him, told Shmuel, you're coming here soon. That's why I'm crying. My time of Kabach is why are you laughing? The Hashivas Baha'i Al Matuva, you are very, considered very Hashiv in this world. So that's why he's laughing. If I'm so chashiv, then let Levi into the yeshiva shamala. So vailula Levi said, and they let Levi right in. So he said to his father, where is the money? Go find it under the mill. Right? The upper mo- the money on the top, there was a pile of money. The top money and the bottom money is ours. And the middle money Belongs to the the uh, the Yisraim. Amalei, my timer. Vadachi. So uh, he said, "Why do you do this?" Amalei, ignuvi, ganvi, ignuvi, ganvi, mignuvi. Done. If somebody's going to steal it, so he's just going to grab the top money, so they'll steal our money, and they won't take the Yisraim's money. And if the ground will eat up the money, achla medidon, and they'll eat our money. Amma, whatever it is, Amma diadi. You see clearly that the Mason know what's going on because he knew that Shmuel was going to die. Right, Dilma Shani Shmuel, Kinda Mechtivin Kivan de Chashiv Kadmi Amachazi Panu Makam. Since Shmuel was very Chashiv, so it could be they made a big announcement up in the Yeshiva Shemala. Get ready, make space because we're having a big Chashiv person coming. 
fine. Baf Rav Yonis and Hadar Bey, the Amr of Shmuel Bar Nachmei. Even Rav Yonis and changed his mind. The Amr of Shmuel Bar Nachmei, the Amr of Yonis and Menayin Lemeisim Shemisabrin Zem Zeh. How do you know that dead people talk to each other? Shenemar Vayemar Hashem Elov Zayis Aratz Hashem Neshpati Laavram Yisrael Yaakov Leimar. My Leimar. What does it mean, Leimar? Amar Kadosh Baruch Hu Lemaisha Leich Emer Lem Laavram Yisrael Yaakov. Go tell Avram Yisrael Yaakov Shuur Hashem Neshpati Lachem the Shuur that I swore to you. Kvar Kiyamtim Lebenechem I am going to be Mekayim to your sons. Right, the Esau died of the Lo Yadi, and if you think that Mason don't know anything, he tells it to them. What's what's what what's meaningless? What do you mean? How, do, how are you going to know? Elamai the Yadi, right? That must mean that they Mason do know, right? So the Gemara asks, Lamalei Lamei Merluhu, why did he need to tell them if they know? So then why did why did, meaning Hashem instructed Moshe to go tell Abraham Yitzchak and Yaakov. Don't that I what I promised to you I gave to your children, right? So how are they going to know? So clearly the Gemara is saying that they do know these things. But so now the Gemara question is if they know, so then what do you have to send Moshe to tell them? So that it should uh, they should want to do a toy, I mean, they should be happy that Moshe is helping them out. Okay, sorry for that. It's not not the most wonderful daf there. Um, all right, have a good one. This morning, I think we went to the front of Brown. Enjoy Vegas. Don't leave too much money over there. Vegas. So, Uncle, what are we doing about Thursday night? Oh, I meant to ask that. I don't know. I'm missing it also. What? I'm missing it also. What's the issue with Thursday night? I saw your strolls giving it. I have a flight. I have a 7.30 flight on Thursday night, and I will not uh, to, to the West Coast. I uh, thought Stroyal was uh, giving it. Stroyal said he can't do it until, until like a quarter to 10. So, so, so um, I thought you were going to do, do it on the terminal. No, no, I could do it. I could do it. I could do it. <clears throat> you could do it, Carl? Yeah. Or videotape it before and put on YouTube. Why is there no Wi-Fi on the six. plane? I could do it at 6 if you want. Oh, yes, yeah, so you're going to start speaking in front of the whole plane? Yeah. What do you say, Sean? I'm available tonight.